前はもう死んでいる。何ブー !Hi everyone, welcome to Zero Morgan Collectibles. And as always, this is your friendly neighbor collector, so. And today, we're gonna try to review Super Excellent Statue, Fist of the North Star, Kenshiro. Let's go! So first things first, let's look at the box. For our Super Accent Statue Kenshiro, it comes with this grayish blue box. And you have a big window so you can see the action figure inside. Your SAS logo, under the SAS logo, your Fist of the North Star logo, Kenshiro and your Spark Varnish. Silver Bear, very nice. And Fist of the North Star in English. At the side, it's a Kenshiro pointing his finger at you. Umai wa mo shindeiru. We have some chains over here, Fist of the North Star logo again, and at the back it's a small showcase of what your action figure can do. Some poses that I hope we can pull off later, and then there's some accessories, two faces, and the stand. And you get the sticker, meaning it's not bootleg. On the side, it's the same with the right side, on the top is more logos, at the bottom is your warnings and your legal stuff. Warning guys, do not put them in your mouth. Don't choke on your toys. Going into unboxing, we will not be needing the rusty cutter. We will be jumping to the Mugen Ruler. So this Medicos, they do not put tape on their figures. So we just need this. So we don't destroy the box as we open it. Just shim it gently and let it open by itself. And let's put them out for that unboxing experience. Check if there's nothing inside. So yeah, it's a blank box inside. So this is Kenshiro out of the box. Still in his clam. It's two stages over here. Uh, you have your effects at the back. Anger stand. Da -da 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 effects. <laughs> so you can use this with other figures too. Very nice. And then... These are your instructions, guys. Please always read this or skim it before you play with your toys. Get out of the box, man. Come on. Okay. First impressions for Kenshiro. Oh, very nice. Very nice. That asymmetrical design is okay. But that, that gap is putting me off. A bit but I think we can fix it with some posing but the paint on this the gradients are very nice sasuga sas nice very nice of super action statue medicos very good paint very very good paint and the sculpt on mine is very nice that's Kenshiro the base for the first Jojo I dare say Jumping into articulation, um, what we did here is we took all of the parts and accessories that are not molded onto Kenshiro from the box and laid them in front of us. So yeah, let's start with the stand. So this is a new age stand from Medicos. So you can disassemble it. Maybe some people can find a way to use that disassembly feature. Right now, I am uh, trying to think of something why they put that there, so yeah. Maybe to save space, right, if you just want this. So that's cool, yeah. Then this is the stand, so let's test it out later if it can support Kenshiro's weight. Next are the effects, very nice. The barrage hands. So it's the... Hands. <laughs> so what you do is you take off the hands and there are peg holes in here just peg in the arm there and then a single punch effect so same take off the hand peg the arm onto here so yeah next are the hands comes with five extra hands so it's a splayed out hand very nice sculpting you can see the veins the the nails and the wrinkles of the palms and the back of the hands, a pointing hand, 
the all important pointing hand, a chopping hand, a gesturing kung fu hand for the left hand, and another open hand for the left one. So yeah, all in all, it comes with seven hands, including the fist on the figure. And the next, let's look at the extra head, which is a screaming head or more like a mouth open head hmm I don't know a bit lacking maybe in paint or maybe some sculpting over here but yeah paints are nice you can see all the way to the roof of the mouth inside of the teeth so very nice detail there all right now going into articulation for Sas Kenshiro. Kenshiro can move his head up to here. He cannot look up, guys. So oh, yeah. He can uh, bury his chin. The neck and the head is independent of each other. So yeah. He can look to his left. Look to his right. Has a bit of tilt for that badass attitude then for our arms this is kind of different a departure from our regular sas um versus the jojos that i have uh, the pauldron is articulated also so it gets out of the way so they made a decision to show the joints for me this is um disorienting because they are not known for these kind of joints at least to me if they are please do enlighten me in the comments so yeah I, let's go to the uh, arm movement arm movement goes up to here so very nice movement same with the other arm just clashing of this to the shoulder area so yeah basically it's the same but if you, when you take this off so yeah and then there is no bicep cut but you can simulate that with this Reminds me a lot of Revoltek though. For our elbow, double elbow, good motion. And then for our hands, standard 360 in your in and outs. So yeah, in and outs. Then for our body movement, mid torso cut, you can swivel left, right, tilt a bit. And then for our crunch back, Crunch back like this, crunch back, lean back like this, and then crunch forward, crunch forward is not that much, but yeah, he is a bit crunching forward. Then for our waist cut, left side to side, so yeah, that's our lean back, crunch forward, just the mid torso cut, then going into our legs, the legs can go out very nice. So yeah, side kick, a bit of creaking, a bit of scary, <laughs> a kick, kick forward is up to here, very nice. Kick back is almost non-existent. Then for our knees, knees are double knees, so yeah, up to here. Then for our ankles ankles is you're in you're out and you're in your left and right and your basic swivel so yeah and then it has a toe cut toe cut moves up to here very minimal but better than nothing so yeah articulation for kenshiro is very nice especially in the arms because he is a martial artist but it takes away from the aesthetic a bit. But if you pose him good, you won't even notice. Just like Revoltex. So yeah, articulation is a departure from the hindered Jojo figures that we have. So that's a great big plus for articulation. Alright. Omae, nanji ka shiteru? Table time da.
Increasing into size, Sasuken Shiro stands at about 6.8 inches. So he's a tall guy for your Japanese imports. So let's see how he stands up next to other brands. So we have your standard mother lover. And then um, next is a McFarlane cross hybrid with a Jaguar Binks. I like to call him Warwar Binks. Is your Z ZD Toys Iron Man? So yeah, Iron Man is big. Um, he's bulky, so he, everything appears small in front of him. And then we have our Figma Kirishima over here. So yeah, Kirishima. Yeah, I think is a good match, good scale to Kenshiro. And then, if you want to see more figures, let's get these guys out of here. Let's leave Kirishima there. Want to see another badass character? So this is Punisher, Articulated Icons Ninja, Solitaire, <laughs> Pirate Deadpool. There you go, guys. So I think he's very, very versatile when it comes to posing him next to other figures. All right. So yes, going into our final thoughts for the Super Action Statue Kinshiro. I now know why they uh, went to that configuration on the shoulder. You can see the shoulder joint because Kenshiro is a martial artist mainly with his hands and um, arms um, support for kicks. They wanted to, to free up his hands for those poses, yeah, these are kung fu poses. And by going to paint, Kenshiro's paint is spot on. As you can see the details, the wrinkling, I have the table um, slowly moving around. Uh, this is a first for our channel, so yeah, let's try something new. And let's take him away from that. You can see the details, the painting, the wrinkling, the molding is very nice. The wraps, as you can see, there's even textures on those wraps. Very nice, right? So, and even the seven stars, you can't really see the seven stars. You can just see the fours four ones so yeah Sass is good with um, sculpting and painting not really known for the articulation but they tried something new with this one with Kenshiro so, yeah those weave bolt techy shoulders some might not like it some might appreciate it but yeah overall for a martial artist character Kenshiro can move good Sculpting is there. Look at that radiant. That sculpting on the arms. Very nice indeed, guys. So yeah, that's what you get with Kenshiro Sas. And I do love this. I was thinking they would only give us only one, but they give us two. So very nice indeed. And this one punch hand effect too. Very nice. And I still do think that uh, the screaming head is a bit lacking. He has that open uh, mouth look. Not really that fierce, but maybe if you tilt it, right? There you go, okay. Okay, just tilt it. So yeah guys, buy your pass. If you're a Kenshiro fan, it's a good buy. Um, it's not really that cheap. It's an import from Japan, so it's gonna be expensive on top of your shipping. Um, for people who are asking, where do I get my figures? Actually, I get them locally. That's about it for the view, guys. And my rotating table has lost battery. If you like what we do here on the channel, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. There's some detail here too, so very nice. Okay, look at that pauldron too. Very nice indeed. Very. Those boots, man, come on. Sorry about that. Details on Kenshiro is very nice. And you have to be... <laughs> is it really the end of the video? No, I don't know. But yeah. If you're taking on and off the head, be careful because these are spiky. Kind of hurts. Look at that. I just touched them. So this is it, guys. This is really it. That's about it for the view, guys. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And push that notification bell somewhere there if you're already subscribed to help the channel. So helps the channel a lot guys please do keep on supporting us and uh, eat your veggies keep safe and peace
死んでいる。No, Joe, I'm, jo- I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> Keep safe, guys. Peace. Bye. Have a good one. Don't you want a rematch? NANI?